Okay, so here we are, and we're going to do the next step of preparing your seeds to be planted, and that's stratifying. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to take some sand, we're going to add it into our beaker, of course any container will do fine, and you don't need that much, just a little bit, depending on how many seeds you actually plan on putting in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some water to it. Now, the best water to use would be rainwater because the natural, the chlorine that we add to the natural water actually kills bacteria that can be helpful for a lot of our seeds. So we're going to add a little bit, and really, however much you add is already going to be too much. So we're going to mix it around, make sure that all the sand's got some water on it, and what you're going to end up with is a nice wet mix of sand. And what we want to do with that is take it over to a paper towel. We're going to double fold our paper towel over, and then we're going to put our sand on there. Make sure we get any excess water out into the sink, and then we want to make sure that we dry out our sand nice and well. And you're going to see the paper towel get wet, but we're going to have enough water in the sand. We only want it to be moist, not too damp, because the seeds need to be able to breathe while they're inside of the sand. So what we're going to do with these uh, sand is we're going to put the seeds in it and make sure that we spread them out a lot because we don't want any fungus that might get to one seed to be able to spread to the other seed. And then we're going to stick it in the refrigerator for an amount of time varying depending on what seed you're going to um, put inside of it. And then that's going to simulate winter. Okay, so here's our video on how you need to prepare your Maryland senna seeds to be able to be planted in the ground and grow into a full plant. You'll find your seeds in the little orange packet as shown, labeled Maryland senna. And what you'll want to do is take out the seeds, and what needs to be done is they need to be scarified. And so the way you do that is you take the seeds and you rub it on sandpaper like it's being shown. No, any sandpaper can be worked. I mean, any grit works fine, although the finer grit tends to be easier to work with. And anyone can do it. There's not much to it. You just got to make sure that you get the outer surface scarred. This happens because the seeds have an outer coating, which prevents water from coming in. And this allows them to last up to 100 years without actually growing or getting infected by any bacteria. So as long as you're scratching the outer surface, your plant's seeds will be able to absorb water, and they'll grow into full-fledged plants. Okay, so now we're going to take our wet sand, which we've dried out, and we're going to add it over into our Maryland senna seeds. All right, so our Maryland senna is going to want to go inside of the refrigerator for roughly 10 days. So we're going to want to add the wet sand, make sure we get plenty of it, and we're going to want to mix it around and make sure that the seeds spread out throughout the sand. And then we're going to take our bag and we're going to label it Maryland Senna to make sure we don't confuse it with any other seeds and we're going to put the date. And now after 10 days, after it's already been scarified before this entire process, we're going to take the Maryland Senna seeds and then once we plant them they'll be ready to go. Now the other seeds you'll see need to be um, stratified for a longer time inside of the refrigerator and that's because the Maryland Senna seeds being uh, scarified have actually been open more to the moisture, and so they're going to need a much shorter time. The seeds that we need to stratify are going to be our blue lobelia and our cardinal flower. We're going to continue with the same sand and just do it over, and these both need to be stratified in the refrigerator for 60 days. So once again, we're going to write the name of our seed on our bag, add the sand, write the date, and make sure that we keep track of time. One of the best ways to do it is to plan this out so that all of the seeds will be finished at about the same time and then you can all take them all out at once and do one big day of planting. The final seed that we need to stratify is the New England Aster, which you'll find in your orange envelope like so. And so we're going to do it the exact same way for 60 days. We're going to add our nice and moist sand, not wet, just moist, and we are going to label it with the date and the species and then we're going to stick it in the refrigerator for 60 days. So now that we have all of our seed done, we're going to seal up all of our bags and we're going to make sure that we go ahead as shown with these two bags. Um, we're going to mix around the seeds, make sure they're spread apart, nice and distanced, and then we're going to just sit them anywhere in the refrigerator, make sure they're sealed tight, and then pull them out after their stratification time and plant them in their dirt.